Oh, no, no, no. Moved, I think. no, no, nothing moved, nothing moved, nothing moved. You just had a weird rice cake for lunch. Go away, dude. You don't have to make a full freaking appearance. <laughs> no one's watching you. Your boss is in here. What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Mellow Lou Gaming. Lucas has asked us to find the book that may help cure the macula, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Turns out it's pretty popular and getting to the university's library is not without a few hiccups. We paid our library's dues and are here to take what's ours. If you like this episode, please leave a like and if you'd like to see more, subscribe. Now here we go. Chapter 10, The Way of Roses. All right, we're in a university. We're gonna get our knowledge on. Hey, look at that, there's books. We could just take this book. This this is the one, right? No, no it's not the one. Right. Oh my god, how beautiful is this? You know, like it's funny, small things like this. Th th this is why we like we'll walk past it and not look at it, but what? If this was in a museum, I'd be like drooling like <gasps> You know what they meant by that weird face? They meant some deep thing. Huh. The end of that tree kinda looks like a little noose. Legs. Working. Alright. No goodies. I might have to come back to these chapters later and uh, find the curiosities that I missed. Cause there is a chapter select um, uh, option. And I know I'm, I'm just flying through some of this stuff. Ooh, okay. I'm worried about like who I might meet. All right, so I can still ready my weapon. Got to be, got to be on my toes, ready for anything. It's locked. Okay, those are locked. How about this one. So I guess the only way. Is up. Oh, what are you? I wonder if these are actual paintings that were just put into the game, or tapestries rather. Oh, it's enormous. But where have the books gone? Hmm. Sounds like the Inquisition didn't want to have a library card. Like, you know what? I'm in a domain. It's mines is... There, the banners. Flowers, huh? yes, there are roses. I'm on the right track. Wait. How many days have we been here? I've lost count. I can't even tell the difference between day and night anymore. Shut up in here. It'll soon be over. Vitalis has brought back a young lad to open the last door. Days we've been here. And the Grand Inquisitor himself is coming to help us. That'd be quite an event. Hmm. Can't tell the difference between night and day. No rats. Strange. Don't feel like they have the uh, casino vibe. What's lurking on these shelves? Hear ye, hear ye. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Amicia now presiding. You there. Here's a rock.
Can I pick that rock back up? Oh, all right. So I'm going to have to get up top somewhere. Where's this thing? Gonna all right. All right. That's where I'm going to end up. Exploring. Exploring for some goodies. I wonder what happens if we got uh, everything for like Hugo's Arboretum. Nice. At the end of the game, we all relax. Look at all the pretty flowers. Reminisce about the good old days. <laughs> Remember when the Inquisition was after us? Oh boy. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, the first time I threw a rock at somebody's head and they died instantly. Boy, was that egg on their face. Here we go. Man, this is exhausting even to watch. Misi is a champ. Grand Inquisitor. That's actually kind of a terrifying uh, title. Some cords, some alcohol. Things you don't want to find in someone's trunk. goes back to the dawn of man and this knowledge could save us all so keep searching and concentrate on looking for books with a red with the, the book red cover the sanguinis yeah. eaten error i might not They're be able to read but that doesn't mean I'm i'd better be quick um what if i just killed him all right I don't think it'll benefit or hurt me either way. He's wearing a, a cloth thing. A weapon? What was it? <laughs> I figured, you know, nip it in the bud. Oh, I like this music. the ready what was that hey, what i'm going to beat some ass there we go good 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 hey, it's the same tapestry looks like they bought it in bulk see what they mean so yep mm-hmm mm-hmm oh yeah and that's a good recipe I think that was a uh, grandma's secret cheesecake recipe circa 1476 nice okay kind of feel bad now really didn't need to kill the alchemist he just wanted to learn how to cook Those oh, what? There are the roses. I'm on the right track. I'm gonna make some more of this stuff. I'm telling you, next time he talks to me like that, I'll stuff one of his bloody books in his cup. <laughs> With a red cover? It's his favorite scent. 
<laughs> there they are. Another brilliant idea from the alchemists. There's something shady about those guys. I heard some squeaking. I said, the there they are. I don't go anymore. Where are they? What are they doing there? Yeah, let's not talk about it. I might not have to interact with you guys. I'll have to get rid of the guards so I can get past. Oh, well, looks like I gotta interact with Go you guys. Look, get out of there. Go. Yeah, rats. Go go hang out with the guards. Am I well lit here? Are they not gonna... Oh, I, I don't trust that. I don't trust that at all. <laughs> there we go. Not anywhere. Blame the rats, man. They're gone by now. Come on. Yep, totally gone. Huh? A second time. Just... Yes, you do. Walk into the rats, man. Hey, you there. Don't move. I won't move. I'm hanging out with the rats. <laughs> Wonderful. Alright, cool. Can I can I make this one explode? And they are just they are bloodthirsty. Uh so they're busy. Don't need epitanguous. Daisy, Ooh. you're far from home too, aren't you? Bring me luck. We're doing this for Hugo. Is there more information on? Oh, there is more information on this Daisy. The Daisy is a symbol of innocence and purity, and probably owes its fame to the whiteness of its petals. It was used in infusions with calming and digestive properties. Known to also promote scar healing, daisy petals were also used in salads and popular among both nobles and commoners due to their slight pepper flavor. Mmm. Yummy. Hmm. Okay. Not a fan of you. Not a fan of you. I'm guessing you two guys are, oh, are the only ones. Here. Just stay away. I really don't trust the uh, the black hole physics of those rats. <laughs> this stuff will it end up covering everything? Yeah, what is that stuff? It's like rat dung and all that, right? Mm. That's work waiting for you. We're really scraping the barrel if Vitali stoops to catching a beggar like this. A prisoner. Oh well, perhaps they'll finally open this door. I can't get past. Too many guards. How on earth did the rats do that? Imagine the force you need to get through that thickness. I can imagine what it will do to your arm. The hole's no use anymore. They've blocked it up, can't you see? know exactly what they're doing, little bastards. What is it? Oh, no, no, no. Something moved, I think. No, no, nothing moved, nothing moved. Nothing moved. You just had a weird rice cake for lunch. Go away, dude. You don't have to make a full freaking appearance. <laughs> no one's watching you. Your boss is in here. 
this guy. Wow, how thorough can you be, huh? Look at me. I did hear something over there. I wonder if someone's controlling the rats, because they, they made mention that the rats seem to know what they're doing. Nothing to see here. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Any good booze? What do you got? No, no, no. Alright. I go there. Yeah, there you go. So the rats aren't going to want to touch me because I'm next to light. But I gotta lure. I can't get past. I have to get the rats out of the room. Oh, can't I lure them with that? Uh, it's uh, eliminating rats. I don't want to eliminate them. Yeah. Let's get some odorous. All right, I'm going to try double whammy here. The gods next door. That'll keep the rats busy. Right. I've had enough. Gods, find them. Be careful. Yeah. Oh, no. Someone <laughs> Be a bit more careful. You had enough. Come on, show yourself. Another prat who couldn't look out for himself. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. Oh, I love it. <laughs> you can actually hit him with it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Back to business. All right. I've been having issues with uh, the computer crashing, and um, I know my setup's not optimized to be playing some games, but whatevs. Uh, but I have a fan that sounds like a jet engine going <laughs> in the background, so let's see if that'll help. I haven't okay. seen any roses for a while. Hope I haven't taken a wrong turn. Try not to sing Kiss from a Rose by Seal. Uh, mainly because I don't know the words. But that is the rhythm I'm thinking about every time she's talking about roses. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, nothing there. More Ampisanguis? No? Stocked up on that. Got a tool, so... Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, I got a tool, so I wonder if a bench is nearby. And here it is. Instruments. Ignifer ammunition distracts nearby enemies. Yep. A uh, better tool allows Amicia to be more accurate in crafting Ignifer. The refined mixture gains increased power, causing it to crackle a lot as it burns. Hmm. Do I want that? I'm thinking either pocket or ammo bag. I've actually been stocked up on on ammo. I'm gonna increase my pocket. Huh. This should make things a little easier. Yeah, maybe I could pick up some more episangrius then. Yeah.
young Hugo de Rune. Lord Nicholas continues his search. In which case, the only thing that can help us find the book is the son of a smith. You built that door with your father. Now, you'll open it for us. We were asked to build that door precisely to keep out scum like you. I am the Grand Inquisitor Vitalis Benevon. You have no idea how I have suffered. Look what I endure for you. What is your name, Paul? Roderick. I do not wish for Roderick to expire. Before he has opened this door, do not commit the same mistake you made with his father. Take him. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please leave a like. Always feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section. And if you'd like to see more, hit that subscribe button. Take care and have a great day.